creating virtual machine in vSphere 6.x. Okay. Now let's see how to create VM. We have created virtual networks, VM, all that. We have shared storage, we have cluster. Uh, so once we will have a virtual machine, we can test like vMotion and all those features. We need to configure those features, of course, but uh, in the VM, right? A test VM at least. So let's move on to vCenter. And how about if I right click and say new virtual machine? And this new virtual machine is developing. Create a new virtual machine, deploy from template, or clone an existing virtual machine, clone virtual machine to template, clone template to template, or convert template to virtual machine. See, now it's a little bit different. In version 6, they have, you know, embedded all choices in a single wizard. So anything related to VM, boom, you see new virtual machine, it's there. You can scroll, go on for there. So I'll say create new virtual machine. Okay, I'll say server 1. See, cluster is not in DRS mode, so please select a specific host. How about XE1? Which data store I would like to keep it? Right now I did not configure storage DRS, so it does not appear as one. I will come to that. So let's say I'll go for Pascal CDS1, which is storage, shared storage. Compatibility with E6 I6 Solator is fine. Yeah. Which OS? I will go for. About virtual machine hardware, I can make it two CPUs, I can make it uh, two gigs of RAM, hard disk 40, and by default, in case if you don't know, it's thick. Thick lazy zero. It will allocate the space as it is and take it from there. Now I want thin, so grow whenever it's required, as per requirement. And SCSI controller is LSI logic, floppy, I don't want a floppy drive. And where is the, what else? Data store wall where you like to store virtual machine shares. This is this is the limiting for resources. If I'm using flash cache, I can specify uh, how it will utilize it. Disk mode is dependent or independent persistent network. Other devices, okay. I can choose even VMware Para Virtual. Kazi bus change videos time. 
CD drive is okay. Other devices, IDP, SD slot. Yep. Oh, it's the network. Network and and I will choose here to DVN network. Okay. Next. So it will create a new email, this is a network card type, yeah, sorry. Uh, network I have added, right? But just to let you know, the recommended network type is VMXNet3. This is the new type of card which better performance. And that's what it's recommended for server VM especially. I mean, you can use it for uh, your desktop VMs as well. However, it requires VMware tools to be running. So if you have a problem with tools, then this network card, you have a problem with network card. Uh, all good. Next. Nick type DB switch DVM network, better virtual. Finish and we have a VM here. So if I go to VM properties, uh, now we have a VM, right? If I go to, oh well, yeah, okay, let me power it on. Okay, now VM is on. So if I open or go to the properties, which is edit settings, uh, I need to specify what you would like to use because right now. It's client device. I can have a data store ISO. But the problem is I don't have any data store ISO mounted. And see that's the problem. Here we have should have an option of content library to choose, which is not there. Uh, host device or client device. Uh, client device, I don't have it here and the host device is okay. I'll, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, just cancel this one and let's open the console. Okay. Right now it don't find any. Uh, of course, it doesn't find any uh, drive. any CD drive. So if I go to ESXi and server run right um, we have called download remote console which is pretty good to remote console 8.01 here I then I can you know let's say download and I will log into viewer and I will download this and I will come back to
Okay, I've downloaded Remote Console. So what I'll do, I'll say Launch Remote Console. And I'll wait for it to launch. <laughs> come on, come on. And it anyway, and this is the remote console for for this VM. Why it's different than what what's what's so different than than if I open it as a console, like if I say open console, there is some differences. And one of the major differences, if I go here and CD1, I can connect to a disk which is available on my local hard drive. I should be using that. Uh, okay. Uh, remember the content library? These are the content library contents. Anyway, I'm using it like that. So I mount it. And after mounting, I will press Control Alt Delete, and it should boot now from 2012, which is needed. If if I have, would have created content library on data store ISO, then I can, or if I have, let's say, one ISO folder in of the shared data store that I can mount directly from there. No need to go on this hassle. Uh, I hope VMware in future version give this option that mount ISO from content library. We don't have to browse through the content and choose ISO files. So now I'm installing uh, Windows Server 2012. Uh, in a virtual machine and the installation is same like you know, exactly like what you have in physical box so once it's completed I will join you shortly I, 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 will, I will join you thank you okay the server has been installed and now I'm installing VMware tools. VMware tools as you know for performance optimization and better usage of uh, for resources and uh, better management of VMs it's important. How did I install VMware tools? Uh, and don't forget uh, one more thing I just reminded me because I'm using uh, VMX Net3 network card. So uh, for this machine, it is very important to install VMware tools. Because that type of NIC requires VMware tools to be installed. How to install it? It's very simple. I just went here, manage, and install VMware tools. restart so now it's restarting so now we have one virtual machine or VM which we have created inside uh, ESXi cluster it's Windows Server 2012 but installation OS installation process is same like physical server the only difference is you don't need to install any drivers here is installed the operating system and uh, as it's installing on virtualized environment so it's just all good you can see now my mouse also started to function properly after installing 
tools and the performance is pretty good keep this in mind it's it's this machine is on shared storage and in my lab environment I have a shared storage accessible via one gig connection so if I go here CMD and say IP config 192.168.0.151 so CMD ping 192.168.0.151 all good network card functioning well machine is functioning well so that's great so we have created virtual machine and and that was the topic of this video when you create a virtual machine you select the right OS you select the right type of hardware if you don't need few things you can delete it choose the disk type I choose thin provision uh, for lab it's better and even in some production environment you can use thin provision unless you need a system which is requires very high computing and you don't want to take risk mission critical system so you can reserve the disk space from the very first go and you can go for thick provisioning uh, for network card I will prefer VMX net 3 um, for Windows 2002 uh, 12 sorry for Windows 2012 R2 uh, you can use LSI SAS logic controller for hard drive uh, if you require if IOPS are less than 2000 uh, but if you need I higher require if you require if your VM requires higher IOPS let's say 2000 IOPS or higher I would suggest to go for para virtualized controller which provides better performance for example if you have Microsoft SQL Server or Exchange Server you can go for that but if you have domain controller or file server or something which is lightweight or less than 2000 IOPS you can go for LSI SAS uh, so this is it guys uh, and I will see you in another video thank you